American Sniper has grossed over $300 million at the box office, is nominated for a 2015 Academy Award for Best Picture, and has reawakened some Americans to the sacrifices of our military. If you've seen the film, then you'll be familiar with Chris Kyle's teammate Mark Lee, who was the first Navy SEAL killed in Iraq. Mark's widow, Maya Elbon, wrote an op-ed for us to explain the truth about her husband's life and legacy. Welcome, Maya. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Why was it so important for you to write this piece? Um, I found it to be really important, and the time when I really realized it was important was after I watched the film, a lot of people had approached me, and friends and family members, and a lot of even friends who never even met Mark, because Mark passed seven and a half years ago. And uh, they were asking me, oh, or even telling me, I didn't realize uh, who, who Mark was. I didn't realize that he believed in these things. And that's when I actually understood the impact that the film was really making. And, and the name Mark Lee, what was being represented, was just an inaccurate um, portrayal of who Mark really was. What did the movie get wrong about Mark? Um... <laughs> Uh, his whole character is completely um, not not accurate. I would first like to say that I think the movie is absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. I completely back the movie up. I think that um, the characters that are portrayed of like of Chris and Taya Kyle are spot on and really perfect. Mm -hmm. um, but what, just when it comes to Mark, it's, uh, I'm here just to set the story out right that that wasn't who Mark was. And so that, that is the main, the main thing that, that the movie was just completely inaccurate in, in portraying who Mark was as a person and what he believed in. So tell us about the letter that's featured in the film. In the film, the actual letter is shown in a light that shows Mark as being a non-believer of the war and someone who um, is not a patriot. And the actual real letter, it couldn't be farther from the truth. Mark believed in what he was doing out there, and he even talks in the letter a little bit about what was going on in Ramadi and, and what they were doing in Ramadi. And then beyond that, um, he talks about about doing good for, for strangers. And Mark had a huge passion for life, for people, and him going um, on that deployment, he really felt that he was making a huge difference. Um, I feel like the letter does a disservice in, in really showing who Mark was. And so I would love and invite anybody and everybody to read his letter because it's coming straight from the source. Mm -hmm. When people think or hear the name Mark Lee, what do, what do you want them to think of? I would like them to think of him as uh, a true patriot, someone who believed in the war, who loved his family. Um, his family was very, very important. His friends were really important. He was incredibly hilarious, super funny, very charming person. Um, sadly, I believe that the film didn't show that side of him at all. Mm. Um, and in the end of all ends, I wish that the movie just didn't have his name because then it would have been an incredible film that I would have backed up entirely 100%. Um, it just does a disservice to his name. And that's all we really have mm -hmm. is our name. Like when we leave this earth and the people that are left behind, yeah. it's really important that, that um, what we stand for, uh, the, the, the impressions that we make, and to have someone change that um, and, and use, use the name yeah. of Mark Lee, it's, it's unfortunate. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. To read Maya's op-ed and her late husband Mark Lee's letter in its entirety, go to foxnews.com. I'm Diana Falzo. Thanks for watching.